All right, let's see what maze four has in store. I could start dragging the blocks into the scripting area like the last couple of mazes, but this time I want to plan it out in my head before I start doing that. Consider it a fun challenge, and if you don't succeed, that's okay. Go back to the less efficient way, get that working, and then try again next time. So let's see, I'm seeing that what I have to do first is move forward one block, turn left, move forward one block, turn right. Then I have to do the same thing, but instead of one block, it's two blocks. Move forward two blocks, turn left, move forward two blocks, turn right. And then I gotta do it one more time, but three blocks instead. Okay, so I see the pattern. It's increasing by one each time. So let me edit my Escape Maze 4, and let's start doing this from, from the very start. So I'm going to use this 4 block again, just like I did before, and we're going to go from 1 to 3, because we're going to use this variable i, this temporary variable, uh, to do those number of repeats. So what I'm doing is I'm first uh, moving forward, so I want to repeat this one time, or let me see if I should, uh, let me think about this. If I repeat it one time, okay, I want to move forward, then rotate left, but I don't want to put that inside of this repeat, so I don't want to move forward, uh, or rotate left like twice when this becomes two. I want to rotate left outside of this. Okay, now what I'm going to then do after I rotate left, I'm going to move forward again. So I'm going to move forward a certain number of times. So let's bring in another repeat. And I'm going to repeat this I times. I'm going to move forward. And then I rotate right. So let me go back to motion. And I rotate right. Let's read through it. Let's trace it together. So I is going to equal 1 first. So we're going to do this. We're going to move forward one step, rotate left move forward one step because i is still one and then rotate right then we're going to repeat this twice then i goes up by one so we restart this and now we move forward twice then we rotate left then we move forward twice then rotate right and now i increments by one again so now it's equal to three and this could do it let me hit apply let me hit the space key and let's see where we end up Oh, we're so close. All we have to do now is move forward once, then turn left, rotate left, and then we have to move forward and rotate right. And when I hit apply, let's let's run it again. Oops, I don't want to run it from there. Let me restart the whole thing. Press the space key and it should work correctly. I kind of went fast through that, so if you had a little bit of trouble, just go back or read through the code slowly and see if you understand what I did. Let me hit apply and go on to maze five. Maze five looks a little bit tricky. So let's figure out how this is done. I'm looking for patterns, like before I even start coding, I can already see that I'm gonna have to turn left and then move forward one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm gonna do that in the beginning over here and then turn right. And I'm also gonna do that up here. So we can see that we're going to need that pattern. We're going to need that uh, a couple of times. Whoa, what is going on here? Oh, I'm in the draw maze. <laughs> Let's go back to the robot, and we're going to edit that. We're not going to edit the, the actual maze, but let's get, this, uh, let's get this show on the road. So we're going to get our sprite to rotate left first, then move forward seven times, I said. So let me repeat this seven times then move forward, then it's going to rotate right, okay, and we're going to do this two times, let me duplicate this somewhere, then we have to move forward one, two, three steps, so we move forward three steps, let me just bring in a repeat, repeat this three times, we're going to move forward three times, then we're going to turn right, so we're going to rotate right, so now it is going to be, let's see, over here, it moves forward three steps, then it rotates right. Now it moves forward seven steps. So here we go again. I'm going to repeat this f seven times, and that's going to be move forward. And now I'm right here. Then we're going to turn left, rotate left, and I'm going to repeat this three times. I'm going to move forward three times. 
You guys can already see that I'm doing this inefficiently. Uh, move forward. Okay. Now I'm right here. And now I can bring in my last few steps. But that is going to get us just here. And now we got to turn. Uh, actually, we've already rotated right. So we just have to move forward once more. All right. I'm going to run it just to make sure that it works. But then I have to figure out a more efficient way of doing it. By looking at the code, I can see that I am rotating left, rotating right, rotating right, rotating left, rotating left. So it looks like there's a pattern here. Uh, it's also repeating seven times, then repeating three times, then repeating seven times, then repeating three times, and then finally repeating seven times at the end. I'm actually going to pull off this last one because, I mean, I'm going to bring it back in at some point. But right now, just by looking at it, I can see that this is a pattern, 7373. Three. So let's see if we can use a repeat block over here. And inside of this, we're going to nest a repeat 7, and we're going to nest a repeat 3. So I'm really trying to break this down. Uh, and that's going to repeat twice, 7373. Three. So, so far, so good. We have the skeleton of what we have to create. Now let's see if we can get this working correctly. So we're going to move forward. It's always going to be move forward when it, uh, when it repeats seven times. And when it repeats three times, it's going to be the same exact thin thing. It's going to move forward. Okay, now how do we do this? So we go from left to right. So we are going to, let's see. Uh, I don't want to repeat uh, the rotate left. Actually, let me think about this. If I could pull this uh, repeat seven off of this, let me actually create a little bit more space and rotate left. I'll pull out of that also. So now we have to figure out how we can duplicate this. So we have this so far and in between both of them, there's a rotate right. Did you guys see what I just did? So we can put the rotate left outside of these repeats and in the middle of everything. So in between the repeats, we're going to be rotating right. And I've just recreated this code that was just here on the left, and now I have it here on the right. So let me throw these away. And I can bring back my repeat seven, rotate right, and then move forward. I think this should work. Let me hit apply. Let me restart the maze, uh, or the robot, I should say, and hit spacebar. And it doesn't work. I made a mistake. So here we go. We got to debug this thing. Let's stop it. Let's restart it. So what happened is I think I didn't rotate right in between the, uh, the repeats. Let me actually undo some of these moves that I did just so I can see where I went wrong. Okay, there we go. So what I did was I repeated seven, repeated three, and in between both of these, oh, look at the mistake I made, I think. I forgot that there's a rotate right and then there's a rotate left over here. I kind of just, I kind of ignored those. So I do have a rotate right in between both of these, but I need to rotate right over here in between these, and then I have to rotate left. So we have a problem here. We're not going to be able to use this code because we're not going to be able to rotate right and then rotate left. We're not going to be able to alternate. So what I'm going to do is instead of doing the this repeat twice, let me see. I am going to, oh my gosh, this is getting messy. <laughs> let me uh, kind of undo this a little bit. So the issue here is that this rotate right, rotate right, rotate left, rotate left. These are kind of like messing us up. They don't allow us to simplify this. So I, I mean, I see a pattern, but it's going to be a really hard pattern to solve because rotate right and rotate left are different blocks. So maybe it's not a pattern, even though it kind of looks like a pattern. Um, I mean, it is a pattern in, in a sense, but I, it's not a pattern that I can like simplify with an abstraction, at least not easily. I can't think of a way right now. So I'm just going to hit apply and it works. I'm going to be happy with just this. If anyone can come up with a better solution for this, like a really simple, clean way of doing this, let me know in the comments below because right now I am completely stuck.